This is John Kennedy with a video journal of St. Patrick's, Ireland. The first shot is of the Strangford Lock, the bay in which Patrick is believed to have first come to Ireland, as seen from this tower that was built just to get better views of that area. And this, some distance away, is St. Patrick's Cathedral, the Roman Catholic Cathedral in Armagh, Ireland, where uh, Patrick was the Bishop of all Ireland, the first Bishop of Ireland, because he was the one who was successful at evangelizing the whole country. Looking down into the town a little bit there on, from the church grounds, beautiful Irish uh, city of Armagh in County Tyrone, Northern Ireland. This is the interior of the cathedral, beautiful Gothic style architecture, although not nearly as large as most of the real Gothic cathedrals. This is a fairly recent cathedral because Catholics were officially banned from Ireland by the English for 500 years, and all the sites and churches that were there when the Catholics were banned were, become, were made uh, Protestant, or Church of Ireland as it is called. But this was built after the Catholics were allowed to come into the country I believe in the 18th century. And this is the Celtic pattern in the floor and outside is a statue of St. Patrick. This is the Church of Ireland Cathedral, also in Armagh, which is believed to be on the site of Patrick's own cathedral. Not as imposing in structure as the Catholic one, but still a beautiful church. This is St. Patrick's Center in Downpatrick, a town a distance away from Armagh, which is the town closest to the bay where he landed. Views inside of the museum, which features uh, mostly his writings. He's one of the uh, most uh, early uh, writers of the church after the New Testament was closed. The hymn that's playing in the background is also attributed to him because it's based on his most famous prayer. And this is another St. Patrick's Cathedral atop the hill above the museum. And this is where he is believed to be buried. They're assigned to his burial spot in the back of the church. And my son Kevin and I walking around that stone. Pictures taken by my other son, Michael. And the Latin for Patrick's name on the stone. And in this area, the dominant uh, feature of the geography is the mountains of Morn that you may have heard of. The beautiful mountains of Morn. <laughs>